Welcome back to the Big Match Talk Show. In today's episode, it's round 31 of the EPL. The EPL is finally back. Feels like it's been gone for quite a while. Before we get into this, make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe. Lumps, take us away, baby. Our first pick is Liverpool. The mighty Liverpool taking on Watford. Now, Liverpool are in a run of note. Eight wins out of eight. So much green. No one can beat Liverpool at the moment. But they are coming up against Manchester City next weekend, which is going to be interesting. But in their way is the mighty Watford, only winning two in the last eight. They are just struggling for form. They are in the relegation battle. If you have a look there at their past results, in their last five games, Watford have not scored a single goal with the lowest scoring margin 2-0 up to a 5-0. So we're going for this one. Liverpool to win with two or more goals. Our next pick is Brighton taking on Norwich City. Now these two teams are in absolutely dreadful form. Both of these teams haven't won a game in six games. Bagging a win and a draw, what, six games ago. It's going to be quite a tight one. It could go either way. These are both lower tier teams. However, we do feel like Norwich might surprise a few people. So we go in Norwich with a handicap of one and a half. Our next pick is Burnley against Manchester City. Now Burnley have won two in the last eight with two draws and four losses. Where Man City have tumbled a little bit after their red hot form in the mid-season with a draw, goalless draw against Crystal Palace last time out. A loss against Tottenham and a draw against Southampton in their last eight. Man City have an amazing record against Burnley though. Absolutely smashing them most times they play. So we, for this one, Burnley might sneak a goal here. They are in the relegation battle. And Man City are going to score a bunch of goals. So we're going over two and a half goals to hit. Our next pick is Chelsea taking on Brentford. Now, Brentford can cause a few upsets with these bigger teams. We've seen it before. However, we do feel like although there's nonsense going around in Chelsea's camp off the pitch, on the pitch, they're one of the best teams in the world at the moment. And they are going to want to build some momentum going into the Champions League quarterfinals against Real Madrid. So they're going to want to put in a good performance here. So we've seen Chelsea to win this one by two goals or more. <laughs> Our next pick is Leeds taking on Southampton. Now, Leeds have won the last two games with amazing results over Wolves and Norwich. But before that, they were on a torrid streak with six losses in a row. Where Southampton, on the other hand, is kind of the opposite. They have lost their last three and had a great run before that, even beating Tottenham there. Leeds are slipping down the table a little bit, so we are expecting them to kind of want to get a good result here. They are a team that scores a lot of goals. Southampton are also a team that likes scoring. So we going over two and a half goals to hit in this one. Our next pick is Wolves taking on Stevie G's Aston Villa. Now, one thing you can say about Wolves is they absolutely hate to draw. No. They never draw. They don't like it. Aston Villa, on the other hand, have been in decent form, winning three out of their last eight. However, we do see Wolves being a little bit of better form here. Wolves are also one of the best defensive teams in the league. Aston Villa's defense also isn't too bad. So we see in a low scoring game here, it is going to be tight. Maybe the first draw for Wolves in quite a while. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But we're going under two and a half goals to hit here. <laughs> Our next pick is Manchester United taking on Leicester City. Now, Manchester United had a massive result last time out, beating Tottenham 3-2 in a thriller. After a big, big loss against Manchester City, so stepping up over there, Manchester United are in relatively good form. Leicester City, on the other hand, also came with a win against Brighton. Leicester have been up and down this season, struggling to find some form, but aren't the Leicester of late that won the Premier League a few years ago. Manchester United look like they are getting into some form, so we are expecting a win from them at home. Our next pick is West Ham taking on Everton. Now, West Ham are in that fight for the top four. They might have just fallen out of it. Everton, on the other hand, on their day, they can cause an upset, let's be honest. They beat Newcastle, they beat Leeds. Other than that, there's not much to talk about for Everton. If they pitch up, they pitch up. West Ham need a win in this one. However, West Ham do tend to leak a few goals. 
This is going to be tighter than I think a lot of people think. So for this one, we're going both teams to score. Our next pick is Tottenham taking on Newcastle. Now Tottenham are back on track with a big win against West Ham last time out. Kane is scoring goals. Son is assisting. Kulusevski is putting it all together for them. It looks like they're going to hit some great form heading into the back of the season here. Newcastle, on the other hand, after a great run after Eddie Howe joined, they have lost to Chelsea, which we will forgive them, and Everton last two games out, so it might be stumbling a bit here, that new manager bounce rubbing off now. So we expect Tottenham to come out here and take the win here, with Kane scoring a goal, any time goal scorer. <laughs> And then our last pick for round 31 is Crystal Palace taking on Arsenal. Now Arsenal also been in that race for one of the top four teams. Crystal Palace, much like Everton on their day, can cause an upset. This might be a close one, especially at home for Crystal Palace. However, these two teams do love scoring goals. Crystal Palace miraculously pulled off a 0-0 draw against City last time out. We do feel like there's going to be more goals in this game. Arsenal need to score. Crystal Palace would love to upset Arsenal after that draw against City. So we're going over one and a half goals here. Guys, thanks so much for watching another episode of the Big Match Talk Show. If you aren't subscribed, please subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.